Hello, coin enthusiasts. You might be surprised to learn that a 1994 Roosevelt dime, which appears damaged, fetched an impressive $312 at a coin auction. However, this wasn't due to mishandling or an off-mint mishap. It's actually a mint-made error known as a broad-struck coin. From the faintly visible mint mark P, we can determine that this coin was produced by the Philadelphia Mint. So what exactly is a broad-struck coin? In the world of numismatics, a broad-struck error occurs during the minting process when a coin is not properly seated within the coining chamber. As a result, the coin isn't confined by the collar. The ring-like device that shapes the coin and ensures it has the correct dimensions and edge design. This causes the coin to be struck with excessive force, allowing it to spread or expand beyond its intended size and shape. If you come across a dime like this, hold on to it. Instead of spending it, consider showing it to a professional numismatist or submitting it for grading. You never know what value such a unique error coin might hold in the future. If you're a U.S. coin collector, you likely have bicentennial coins, including the 1976 Eisenhower dollar in your collection. However, uh, the Denver struck dollar featured here is far from ordinary. It represents the highly sought after type one version in an exceptional MS-67 superb gem condition. Throughout the bicentennial celebration, over 100 million pieces were minted using two different hub styles. The, the Type 1 features bold, flat letters, contrasting sharply with Type 2's thinner, more angular letters. Despite the large mintage, the 1976D Eisenhower dollars, especially those intended for circulation, were generally not well-crafted and often suffered from damage. It's only recently that collectors have started paying close attention to this series, recognizing the rarity of such expertly preserved and well-struck coins. Among the 21.04 million coins minted, this dollar is one of the very finest known for its outstanding preservation, a remarkable feat for a coin of its size. This elusive specimen ultimately commanded a price of $5,520 at auction, underscoring its rarity and desirability among collectors. The 1955 Lincoln cent with the double die obverse stands as one of the most iconic error coins in U.S. numismatic history. It is particularly famous for its distinct doubling visible on the inscriptions and the date on the coin's obverse. The value and rarity of this coin are attributed to several factors. The error initially went unnoticed, allowing many of these coins to circulate. It is estimated that between 20,000 and 24,000 were produced before the mistake was detected, and production ceased using the defective die. Despite the discovery, most of these coins were released into circulation, especially in the northeastern United States. The pronounced doubling and the tale of their unplanned distribution have rendered these coins highly coveted by collectors. Most specimens that survive today range in condition from extremely fine EF to about uncirculated AU, with specimens in true uncirculated condition being exceptionally rare and highly prized. This remarkable full red gem, graded Mint State 65 Red, fetched a remarkable $45,600 this year at a Stax Bowers auction. Take a look at this heavily circulated mercury dime. Its surface shows extensive wear, to the extent that some letters of the legends and the bottom part of the dates 6 are no longer visible. You might think such a worn coin would be considered worthless and attract little interest. However, the 1916 Mercury Dime holds a special place as a key date in the series, and even a heavily circulated piece can command a significant premium. David Hall notes that 1916 marks the inaugural year of the widely collected Mercury Dime series. Many of these coins were saved by collectors due to their novelty as the first year of issue, making them available in all grades today. While uncirculated examples are not rare, they are certainly less common than those from the later dates of 1934 to 1945. Despite its condition, this particular dime, graded about good three by ANAC, managed to fetch $660 at auction, demonstrating the enduring value and appeal of key date coins, regardless of their condition. Here we have a 1913 D. Lincoln cent, an exceptional example graded MS-66 plus red and confirmed as a superb gem by CAC. While this issue is only moderately scarce in circulated grades, there are sufficient mint state pieces available to satisfy most collectors. However, according to the census data, 
it is relatively uncommon to find this issue in fully red gem condition, a rarity among mint-marked scents from the period of 1911 to 1915. Fully struck examples from fresh dyes are notably scarce, adding to the allure of this particular coin. This elusive specimen, standing out for its quality and rarity, was sold for a remarkable $13,500, including the buyer's fee, reflecting its significant value in the collector's market. Presenting a 1909 SVDB Lincoln scent, in an extraordinary mint state 66 red condition, a superior example of this highly sought after key date from the inaugural year of the Lincoln scent series. This coin is virtually flawless with surfaces that embody the pinnacle of numismatic excellence. They boast a fully lustrous and satiny appearance with a striking mint color in vivid orange rose hues. The detailing is razor sharp, contributing to its exceptional eye appeal. While the Philadelphia Mint had already produced nearly 28 million coins by the release date, the San Francisco facility had minted only 484,000 examples before the removal of the designer's initials. This limited production instantly positioned the San Francisco Mint coins as rarities, eagerly snapped up by collectors who paid premiums for these specimens. Many of these coins avoided heavy circulation and are generally found in high grades, including mint state. However, despite the availability of uncirculated examples, many were either mishandled or stored improperly. As a result, three times as many examples are categorized as brown compared to red-brown, and nearly seven times as many as in full red. This particular MS-66 full red specimen was highly coveted and ultimately sold for $15,600 at a Stax Bowers auction, reflecting its rarity and pristine condition. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed exploring these extraordinary coins with us, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell icon for more fascinating numismatic journeys. Share your thoughts and any coin treasures of your own in the comments below. Happy collecting, and see you in the next video.